They will have been happy, though. Fickle. They will have been happy with Anthony's goal. Another one in the top corner, Shaka. Yeah, and another one of those polarising players, in, in, in all honesty. I, I think Anthony's a wonderfully talented footballer, but again, shows up when it suits him. And, and, and that has been... That, that will continue to be my criticism of him. We know what he can do. We showed up what he can do against Betis. But too often, it, he wants to go for the flashy. And a lot of times, without, without much substance. And when you're playing for Manchester United, more is expected of you than, than that. You have, everything you do has to have substance about it. And, and that, for me, will, will, will always be my criticism um, of Anthony. I, I feel for all, for all his touches, for all that he can do with the ball, too often it doesn't, it doesn't have an effect or an impact. He's a show pony. That's what he is. He's a show pony. He's a $100 million show pony. And yeah, he scored a great goal tonight. How many times are you going to do that over the course of a season? In the top corner? I'll tell you, not too many. So there has to be other parts of his game. And I'm not overly impressed with what I've seen. Yeah, I'll, I'll applaud somebody picking out the top corner. But as I said, are you going to do that every week or every other week? Maybe even once a month? No, probably not. So I'm looking at the other side of his game, taking defenders on, his end product. And for me... He's at the club because Jadon Sancho has struggled. And I think if Jadon Sancho was to find his form again consistently and Marcus Rashford was to continue playing off the left, then he probably wouldn't be playing. So I think a great moment, but that great moment's not overshadowed and has not taken over all the rest of the stuff for me. I, I, I think he's a bit of a flash in the pan and we'll see these moments now and again from him. But I think... More often than not, defenders of, uh, that I've seen have pretty much had his number. Yeah, we've seen what he's going to try to do, and when it does pull off, Nadem, how do defenders deal with him? How would you deal with Anthony? Uh, I think one thing in terms of his assets, I think he's very good when it can, the game can get into transition, and he tries to stretch the game in behind. I think Ten Hag is, is very passionate about his players doing that, and I think he can do that. And then when he does square people up, you know he wants to come inside. I think every game that you've seen him play, He'll come inside and he'll have a shot from that side. I think he had a couple of shots like that at Anfield in the first half. So you know it's going to come. So how are you going to deal with it? And I think if you find the right sort of team that doubles up on it, then forcing him down the line makes him a bit more uncomfortable because he will try and do a trick that necessarily that doesn't necessarily work out because he's not quite got that sort of physical edge to be able to win it on the other side. So it's never simple because he's obviously a very good player. But, you know, at times he does, players have their tendencies. And I think if you can sort of lean into that, then that's going to be better for you. But... You know, to give credit where it's due, like the guys have said, it was a great goal today. But at this moment in time, it doesn't feel like it's unanimous that he's been a great signing for United. Whereas, you know, you look at Casemiro's and others and it feels like they are, but he's not quite there yet. And I think it's because some of these moments are great, but it seems like they're few and far between. And unfortunately, the other stuff in between isn't stuff that people are really enamoured by. But as it stands, you know, I scored a good goal today and he seems very confident. And more importantly, whatever we say, Ten Hag trusts him, and I think that's probably the biggest vote of confidence he can have as a player. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.